that giant. Inch. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a spawning bass over there. Finally got one. We tried to go after a bigger one, but the bigger one was too smart. Alright guys, we got a little bit of a battle right here. Alright, what's up y'all? This time out we're in Wisconsin, the Inland Lake, going after bass in the weeds, bedding bass, bedding largemouth bass. It was kind of a rough one because we had to use light line because of how very, very clear the water is. Because, you know, make it harder for them to really see that, hey, something's up. We could have maybe went with a little bit tougher line, but it was a little bit too late. We already decided, you know, we're going to go with some really light line, six pound test, go after these bed and bass. All right, enjoy the video. In Wisconsin, Inland Lakes going after largemouth bedding bass. All right, so this time around, we were on a lake in Wisconsin, Inland Lake, and we found bedding largemouth bass. We went with a whole night crawler trying to catch these largemouth bass, but we found out throughout the day because of how shallow the water was and how clear the water was, it made for a really tough bite, and we had to really use really light line to try to help our chances and that kind of made it even more tougher but we caught a good bunch of them out on this lake in wisconsin and had a okay pretty decent morning of largemouth bass bedding fishing i don't know if you guys can see it but there is a spawning bass over there we're gonna try to get one of these spawning bass. Well, they're not spawning bass, they're bedding bass. I'm sorry. Bedding bass. All right, we're out the next morning. We got our bait in, waiting for hopefully a, a, a bass on a bed. All right, we, we hooked into one right in the lily pads here. Oh yeah. Finally got one. We tried to go after a bigger one, but the bigger one was too smart. A bedding bass, largemouth. Look at that, barely hooked it. All right. All right. So there you go. This guy barely made 14, barely. Right on 14. Nice chunky little one. Female on a bed, so we're gonna put her back and see if we can go find some more before time is up. There we go, first one, night crawler. Just a single hook, just leaving it out there. All right, all right, here she goes back. And there's her bed right there. All right. So what we figured out we have to do to catch these, they're right next to shore, literally right next to shore with their bed. So they see you, the water is so clear. So what we had to do is put the night crawler right in their bed, walk away to the point where we can at least still see what's going on so we know when we get a bite or not. That's how we caught that one. They're really, really, they know what they're doing. They know what they're looking for. Really challenging. Oh. We found a giant, probably the biggest one of the day, had her on, and it just snapped instantly. Just snapped, boom, gone. Just like that. I don't think we're going to get another chance at her either. She's going to be all spooked and everything now. Uh, biggest one we've seen this whole lake here. I got away. Heart's broken. Like, I don't, I'm about to cry. I'm just about to cry. So we we got another bed right in there with a the night crawler. So we're back on another in the bass and lily pads. What do we got, dude? Kind of seems it might might be a little bit. Oh, uh, it's about the same as the other one we caught. Another 
There was a bed right in there too. Another bed and bass. Oh, it's heavy. I don't want to snap my... I'm using six pound test line too. Look at that. Look at that. There's the hook. You can barely see it right there. Another close to 14. This one is not 14. I can already tell. But there's another bass. That was a little scary because them lily pads with really light line. You don't want to get too, too tangled up in that. There's another one. Lost a couple nice ones. Or lost one nice one. Here's our second one we caught. Pretty close to 14, but I'm pretty sure it's not at 14 inches. There we go. Inland Lake in Wisconsin. Let's put this one, this girl back so she can protect her eggs. All right, Wisconsin bass going back in the water. Oh, she gone. All right. Wisconsin Inland Lake. Spa bedding bass, largemouth. All right, guys, we got a little bit of a battle right here. Another bass on the bed here, getting all tangled up. Oh, get off that stick here. Get off of that stick. Okay, we're off that stick. All right. Might need the net's help here. I don't know. We'll see here. He's battling down there. That's all, all I know. And it snapped. Got tangled up in the stick and snapped. All right, another bed and bass here. This might be a 14. All right. Well, that ain't no 14. Looked a lot bigger in the water, but there's the hook right on top of the mouth. Just slowly came in and slowly ate it and that ran off with it. And then bam. Alright, let's get her unhooked and put her back. Alright. The little the littlest one the littlest keeper we caught today. Smallest one. It goes back, bed's right there. Alright. Let's try to get another worm on and try to get another one before the morning. Sun's up. Alright, I don't know if you can see that sand pile. We got a bass. We're slowly trying to ease it in. Oh, it's not even a bass. It's a pumpkin seed. It's it's the first pumpkin seed I got. I I found this this spring, this open water season. It's not even a bass. Maybe we got that mistaken. Huh. Uh huh. This guy has has his own bed. Look how beautiful that thing is. Green, green, uh, sunfish. Maybe a mixed with pumpkin seed. All right, our time is almost up so we're basically done I think six pound test suffix advance panfish pole here's the rod the reel now I could have went with some bigger line and it probably would have been a lot better but the water is so so clear they probably we don't want them bass to see the line but because of the light line when they get in the weeds a lot of just snapping the lines happening because the line this line ain't built for pulling out bass in the weeds we need a little bit tougher line but for them bigger fish that know what they're looking for, you need that lighter line so they don't see the line and get spooked. <laughs> 